Now, folks, the ingredients for this famous Billy Ferg chilli and garlic prawns is we have Australian prawn cutlets, virgin olive oil, some fresh garlic, fresh chilli, a great chardonnay, King Island cream, medley of peppercorn, sea salt, roasted garlic butter, and to finish it off, some chopped parsley. And there we have it. That's the ingredients you need. Now, folks, we start off with a hot pan. We pop some virgin olive oil. Get it hot, nice and hot. Let it get nice and hot. And then we're, once the pan is at a good hot stage, we're popping in our beautiful crustaceans. There you go. Just keep your eye on the flame, it's not too high. We're just going to turn that down a little. There you go, just a little bit so we don't end up burning. We're just going to seal the prawns first. We'll give them a quick turn. Now, the next stage of this recipe is to add the garlic. As much or as little as you like. I like about half a, half a spoon. We make sure we toss it in so we don't burn it. Okay, it's going to be a little bit quick with the pan. We then throw a little bit of fresh chilli. I like around half a spoon again, not too hot. But then again, some people are different. You add a bit more, a bit less. Look at that flavour, look at that aroma. I can see it coming through now. We then season it very quickly with some salt and pepper. There you go, just a little bit of seasoning. We're then going to go with a Estonia's Chardonnay, just to finish that off and reduce it a little, keep the pan moving, get a good workout while you're doing this I can tell you, just let it go for a little bit, there we go, it's just nicely reducing, you can see it all binding, and it's very important that the prawns are not overcooked, then at this point now you can see the action happening, we're adding some King Island cream, again you can have as much or as little as your taste tells you. We're going to bind that all up and reduce it all. Let it sit there for a while. I'm going to put in a little bit more cream. I like mine very nice and smooth. That King Island cream is a great flavour with prawns. Now we're just going to bind that all up. We're going to go with a little bit of parsley, folks, just to add that in there. Keep the pan turning. Keep the pan turning. Now we're throwing in our garlic butter, our roasted garlic butter. Now that is great flavour. Do not worry about the calories. The calories are on my next program, which will be a good fitness program. Just after you consume, you do a quick shuttle run. And I'll give you the shuttle. It'll be around the concourse, 18 North Concourse Bay, Morris. That is the home of the K, the lobster K, folks. Now, let's let that all reduce nicely. And we're nearly there. We're just going to turn them just a little bit, one more time. See the prawns have still got their nice plumpness. We haven't overcooked them. We're just going to melt this garlic butter through. And we're nearly there. Look at the texture on that. Folks, we are nearly done, and we are going to now plate up our famous chili and garlic prawns. You can see there's a little bit of pink in the middle. You don't want them overcooked. You want the nice flavour, nice texture. Aussie prawns, done by the Ferg. Can't beat it, folks. Now, folks, we're going to now plate the prawns. What I love with my prawns is some braised rice, which I've pre-prepared. I pop it in a mould. I oil it first. I pack it and then hopefully it'll come out. Now for presentation, we pop it in the middle and there we have it, the Billy Ferg mould. Now we go to our prawns and we're going to plate these beautiful prawns around the rice. There we go, around the rice, we're going to plate them up, there you go. And we'll wipe the plate later for presentation, we just quickly do this. There you go, just pop them around. 
around the mould of rice. There you go. Then we, I just change hands here. What we're going to do is we're going to source them up. There we have it. A little bit of chopped parsley. Just going to wipe these plates up. There we have it. The smell is just sensational. And also what I do is I heat my plates in the oven so they're nice and hot when you're presenting them to your guests. And all we need a bit is some nice sourdough Vienna bread. There we go folks. And Bob's your uncle. Nice Sav bloke, a Sav Blanc. We've got a nice uh, or Chardonnay. There we have it. There we have it. A bit of stony as Chardonnay, which is absolutely sensational with my prawns. And life's not too bad, folks. There we have it, the Billy Ferg garlic and chilli prawns. <laughs>